Hey everyone, it's me, Empress Arcana, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Hi, hi. Um, I want to put a warning on this. First and foremost, I don't know what this is going to be. I have some stuff here for divinatory purposes. I have been really stressed out, so I am, um, <laughs> excuse me, I have, um, I don't really know what to talk about, but I do want to talk. Uh, but I put a warning because I, um, I forgot I took something <laughs> and it might hit while I'm recording. Um, hmm. but it, this might not even see the light of day, but just to put a little warning, if it's too much, I might just not re upload it. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Right. If you are listening to this, uh, okay. You know, <laughs> So I hope that you guys are doing well. Uh, the end of the year approaches and there's so much, um, you know, yeah, <laughs> wrapping up and stuff. So yeah, today was, or yesterday at this point, it's so, I was talking to a friend until like an hour and a half ago. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on in, um, my life and I've been very stressed so I'm here trying to just take it day by day um and I will be wholesome here because uh oh okay mm -mm. all right I guess okay let's see if I can do this <sighs> um yeah earlier was pretty frustrating um because I have been feeling very angry uh just angry and I don't usually feel so openly angry I bought I've bottled it up for so long guys I bottle up my anger I know that's not good <laughs> I bottle it all up and um I am I guess it's just I can't hold back anymore but I'm trying to deal with it on a productive level and stuff. So again, guys, if like I I start to trail off and stuff, um, just click away. I just feel like talking. This helps me. And again, as I always say, you never know what something I say might be helpful in some way, even if I sound like a complete buffoon. <laughs> you know, so yeah. Um, I really want to thank you guys for, for watching and, um, being very supportive during this time. It's been so hard. I, I, it's just been, I thought that 2021 was bad. This year is right there with it. I just, um, I just want to relax. I was going to make myself some tea, but then I was just like, I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't. I just got out of the shower and I, I feel a bit more relaxed. Um, uh, this, um, the place that I am staying at, um, gets really cold at night, even for Florida uh, when it's cold, it's cold, and when it's hot, it's hot. Um, and um, I feel so stupid saying this. It's like I cry myself to sleep. Other than my like, you know, one being depressed and all, you know, it happens, right, guys? But it out of cold, and I have blankets. I'm wrapped up like a freaking like I'm a cozied up burrito but it's not cozy it's cold and it's bad and it hurts and and one just becomes even more irritable when everything else is just falling apart that kind of diddly daddly blah 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 whatever you want to call it um, <laughs> and um yeah oh man I, I yeah I definitely feel it uh, like my solar plexus is like Yo, this is, this is something we're trying to communicate with you. Uh, um, I, 
I do this when, like, if I'm talking with a friend and I let them know. I'm try- I try to be responsible because not everyone, I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. So that's why I wanted to put that warning, if you get what I'm trying to say, um, in the beginning. Uh, I mean, I think I, <laughs> I can get pretty funny, but I don't want to be out of pocket or crass or too much of that. I'm surprised that I'm still talking like... gosh no that makes me sound like a monster um civilized um I just have a lot on my mind and I just want to I wish I could fly I want to (laughs) fly and it feels this is a new uh, experience because I never thought I would be recording like this but it's an empress talks not um a reading even though I might use my cards because I get very very intuitive insights like this because I don't know everything's heightened and stuff so it's an it's an experience um and so uh I was actually so for the I know I've been unnecessarily angry I feel I want to say unnecessarily but it's just I bottle up everything but um, people have been saying things that have been upsetting me. people around me, you know. Um, and I know these people mean well. But sometimes people's views and just, I just, um, oh gosh. I won't talk about the views here because that is political crap. I don't want to do that. But it just, um, it doesn't, um, it doesn't align to my, you know, how I, how I feel about things or how I, I resonate, whatever, what have you. It's basically the mental, mental, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> the mentality. Yay. I can say words of the mentality. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> the With a mentality of, you have to face this because this is your circumstance. Anyone that tells me, oh gosh, anyone that tells me, gotta face this like this, I say, kiss my ass. <laughs> Listen, I understand there's things and stuff, but like, oops, sorry, I bumped into the mic. Oh my gosh. I don't like people telling me what to do. (laughs) Not in like, especially when it's something I believe in so strongly and I try to be polite. And this is, this happens a lot. Oh, there go my astro dice. (laughs) Um, hmm. No, I, I try my very best. I, I keep quiet. I don't talk about anything with the people around me. Because it's always been hard. Um, how interesting. I just noticed something. Oh, wait, where is the sign of Saturn? Oh, you know, I know it's not exact, but I'm looking at my astro dice. And the sign of Jupiter upside down, for a moment, I thought it was Saturn. And it's funny because one planet is... Oh, oh God, one, (laughs) I forgot the word, malefic and benefic, gazuntite, something like that. But I just noticed that, I was like, oh, upside down Jupiter without the little sticky on the, (laughs) it looked like the, the sign of Saturn, hard lessons, all that, all that stuff, right? And, um, and these are, oh yeah. North Node Transformation. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. <laughs> My brain is saying a lot of not nice things about like to express. Uh, furthermore, how I feel about people deciding for me what is best for me blah 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 da 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 
And again, I know people mean well. People just, oh, there's a train. <laughs> I think very differently. I don't conform to anything. I know that sounds, that, that could sound pretty bad, but I never was a rule breaker per se. But because I struggled so much growing up to voice what I feel, you know, how I feel about things, who I am, how I work, because everyone wanted to tell me how to do everything, how I work, how I, f um, and of course the core values of growing up into you get taught things and whatnot. And you know, it's funny. Most of this didn't come from my, my mom and, f my mom and father. Father. <laughs> they, hmm. They were pretty open-minded. <laughs> but they wanted to well, I mean, considering that my mom was never married to my father, she was the other woman or whatever, but my father had so many. <laughs> but I will say this, not in defense to my father, because I don't uh, condone these practices. Um, gosh, I sound so... <sighs> whatever. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm so tired of everything, guys. <laughs> I never thought that I'd be so vulnerable on the internet. <laughs> never thought that. I feel like a fool every day, but, you know, I know I won't regret Whatever's to come, but regardless, um, I never saw my father openly, like, engaging with another woman or anything. Not even with my mother. That was really something, but didn't make what he was doing right. And I didn't know any better, of course, when I was growing up. I didn't know. I was left in the dark, like many I was left in the dark for a very long time and you know guys it sucks when people underestimate you and maybe it's an ego thing and it's something we work within ourselves of course because you know <laughs> we gotta be happy with ourselves and all that but in the process especially growing up as a teenager or however, you want to be validated or understood and definitely not underestimated. Um, <laughs> I remember um, I had to be the perfect student. I'm sure many of you can relate. And I went to private school for... Why am I telling you guys this? <laughs> I'm trying to make it educational. What the fuck? Educational. What even? I'm, I'm trying to... It's my Sagittarius Saturn. She is like, listen, if you're going to be breaking the rules a little, whatever that might be, you know, do it with poise. <laughs> do it... <laughs> this is not... <laughs> Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. Um, but yes, I went to... I've mentioned it uh, before, but yeah, until eighth grade. And then went to high school. But it was like um, the first 13... Wait, no, five, six, or whatever. From kinder to eighth grade. I was in Catholic private school. And, oh, sorry, I cracked my neck. 
that was a that was something. Um, that was an experience. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I'm picking up energies here. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know why I feel like compelled to, to share. I feel a Scorpio rising, energetically present. Huh. I see it in the dice. That's why I'm saying it, but I'm also feeling it. Look at that. Hmm. Who else is present? <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely Scorpio energy I mean and then we have Libra here which I think of Venus because we now have Venus and Scorpio hmm. Venus is conjunct my moon currently not liking it <laughs> but at least Mars is, I can't wait, uh, like, that's right, Mars is in Sagittarius right now. Um, hmm. Anyway, guys, sorry. Trailing off, that's going to happen a lot. <laughs> um, hmm. Sun, fourth house. Fourth house is cancer. Okay, why? What are you telling me, Dice? <laughs> yes, inanimate object. Talk to me. Speak to me. Speak my language of sim symbolism. <laughs> Meaning <laughs> to life. Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, gosh, guys. The fact that I'm even considering to share this, I'm like, wow, I really don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm glad that it's like, it's warmer in here now because after I showered, um, since I, I think I've talked to you guys about it, I don't, the bathroom is not closed in. So, cause it's, it's a shed. But it was made to, um, yeah, you know, they put a, you know, there's a bathroom and shower and stuff. It's just not closed in. Um, so there's that opening in the top. And so the steam just fills up everything here. <laughs> my dog's like, oh, my God, mom, <laughs> stop with that. It's like you're making yourself like you're becoming a lobster. <laughs> uh Oh my God, why did I just think of the line from Friends? <laughs> you are his lobster. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that is so cute and silly and I don't know why I thought of that. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm still looking at the dice to see what they want to convey, but like, I can't, um, I was talking about my dad, <laughs> but yeah, then I got into another conversation with another person that I was also like, I love this person too, love them, um, but I just got so angry, <laughs> um, I've just been angry. <laughs> um, and one of the things that um, was brought up <laughs> um, damn, it left me. What was it? Hmm. Huh. I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to smack my... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh. There's so much. So much talk, 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 talk. I like that song by Darren Hayes. Talk, talk, talk. I like Darren Hayes. Darren Hayes is a great artist. Hmm. There's a song. You know, I've been trying to do another one, another mashup, another acapella mashup, just for funsies, all right? 
I have three in the works, but none of them finished because I feel a vibe and I'm like, yeah, let's go. It doesn't completely pass the vibe test at some point. And then I'm like, oh, dang. And I go to the next one. And it's just, I want to convey my feelings through song in some way, shape or form, because it's just easier for me, you know? And, <laughs> um, Hmm. <sighs> Can't help it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh God, this is, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed guys. <laughs> um, I'm really messed up. <laughs> not, not like, no. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. Songs, yes, music. Um, the last one, I'm very proud of it. I was actually, um, I was reading the, the lyrics mashed up to a friend and I was like, I know that I'm feeling a kind of way and I, but I want to you know, keep the hope alive within me. And I want to hopefully inspire others too with these lyrics, even though they're like not originally mine, but I kind of like Frankenstein them together, as I said before, and it helps me, um, convey messages, whatever, you know, just like how we, when we channel songs and go from there. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> uh, the, the um, some of them there's another Darren Hayes one that I really like called Roses where's my phone um, I wanted to get the oh I don't know oh is it here <laughs> alright um, it's a good song let me see if I can let me close that, close that, <laughs> stuff open. Uh, hmm. Darren Hayes. Darren Hayes. Oh, he was so young there. Darren Hayes, gosh darn it. <laughs> it's cool. Rose's lyrics, okay. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm thinking out loud. Okay, so like, you know. What if I told you that your time was up? That as every second passes, there's a moment gone. In 23 hours, the sun is gonna set forever. Would you hug a little tighter? Would you let go first? Would you focus on love and forget the hurt? Yeah, it's a, it's a good song. It's a good song. Oh, man, I was almost about to, like, lose myself in it. And I'm like, I can't even focus on the lyrics right now. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, um, you can't smell the roses when you're gone. You can't smell the roses. No, it's not a rehearsal. You only get one life. So make it right. It's the last night on earth. <laughs> so live every moment like this is the last night on earth. I think that's beautiful. And uh, uh, I just, I love, um, I remember, <laughs> oh, I got a channeled message. <laughs> It's a really nice one. It's really sweet. It's just simple, short, and sweet. I love you so much. It was very beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, another one I like. Oh my gosh, I'm just thinking about the songs because I've been wanting to do it, but I've been in such a bad mood, guys, and I don't want to be a downer. <laughs> I don't want to put that kind of stuff out, you know? Um... I always want to keep it real, of course, because we all get upset. That's why I'm talking about this. That's why I'm doing what I'm... This is as raw and honest as it's going to get over here. <laughs> Ninth house. Sorry, just... 
this this happens to me I get like and this is more tame because I know that I'm recording but I usually get channeled messages and they're so loud I have to write them down or I just start like it's 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 an experience whatever so another one I really like okay so um uh <laughs> I've been listening to them uh, listening to them a lot more lately again uh rise against uh, in particular, let's see if I can get it. Like, I, I remember such an amazing experience. I think I talked about it, but I want to say it again because I loved it so much. It was so good. Um, I went to a concert with a friend back in 26. No, nope, no, no. 2006. That's, that's a long time ago, fam. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> it's been a while. I'm so old. <laughs> hmm. Um, but, <laughs> um, right. So, uh, what a great concert. It was my, it's been, it's still my favorite. It was called a global gathering. So many amazing artists. I can, I don't shut up about it. Like I got to see, um, <laughs> my brain went blank. I got to see Rob Zombie. I got to see Nine Inch Nails. Trent Reznor took forever. And oh my God, how epic it was. But so ugh, I remember me, uh, my friend and I were like, oh my God, we got to go. And I'm like, no, oh gosh. <laughs> you know, Mr. Reznor just got on stage. We can't just leave. This is the moment. <laughs> this is the moment. And it was so funny because as we're walking away to like, you know, and it's like, they start playing closer. Oh, the audacity, Mr. Reznor. How dare you? <laughs> playing closer as we were walking away. <laughs> the irony of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, um, gosh, that was amazing. Uh, but it was... Uh, a bunch of other bands, but did we get to see The Offspring? I'm going to have to ask my friend. <laughs> did we get to see? I feel like I, I've i seen The Offspring live. I feel like I've seen, um, I haven't been, excuse me, I haven't been to concerts. Uh, the last time I went to a concert was in, um, when was it? <laughs> I was still in Miami before I, it was a, the year after my mom passed, I was trying to hold the fort um, because unfortunately the house wasn't paid for and there was just a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, the good news is I didn't lose the house, but bad news is other bad stuff happened because money turns people ugly. And I don't mean, oh, I'm talking too much. Oops. Um, oh God, it was a bad experience and I'm still under the experience and I'm hoping to be able to get out so yeah um but i will say this i know money is important right but i've seen what money does to people part of it and it's not money itself but um i gave everything because i told myself once my house once the house my mom left behind was sold, I just, oh, Nani, I just didn't want to trigger warning. <laughs> I think you guys get the, the gist, right? Uh, I didn't want to, yeah, so, um, but here I am. I'm still fighting. I'm still here, you know, right? Um. Excuse me. But yeah, um, kudos to those parents that do prepare their kids and are thinking about, because my parents were, my mom, hmm. sorry, sorry guys, I didn't, I'm glad I stayed quiet, I, 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 thought the rest in my head it's too personal to talk about but 
it hit. I was like, oh no. But either way, um, well, um, concerts, <laughs> concerts. That's what we what I was what we were talking about. Yes. Um, who who else is here? <laughs> uh, well. The last concert I went to was a Third Eye Blind one. And Third Eye Blind, and it was Adam Lambert. And I was like, oh, man, that's cool. That's cool, you know. Um, in 2015? Yes, it was 2015. And um, the one before that, I believe, was a Tori Amos concert because I've seen her live three times. And I, if I had the moolah, I'd see her live every time she goes, like, she tours that woman I love her so much uh, she was very much a part of me growing up and how much I loved her her sassiness her her fight always her fight <laughs> so yeah um <laughs> and also very um Her way of speaking always, like, when Tori Amos speaks, you, you listen. It's like, it's so lovely and just very wise. I don't know, she, I just looked up, I look up to her a lot. Uh, I don't know, I haven't really been keeping up with Tori, but it's like, man, she's, She's cool, <laughs> right? Um, hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. What's my favorite is hers. I love Tori so much. There's so many. Let me get some... <laughs> I can't think of one at the top of my head. And there's so many. But she's so talented. Uh, hmm. Seventh house. Sorry, I'm again looking at the dice. <laughs> Sorry, this is a weird recording, guys. Like I said, I just need to talk. So I appreciate if you're listening. I just... <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Another... Oh, yes. The, the Global Gathering. I got to see Flyleaf. Oh, I love... I love Flyleaf. I love Lacey. Another talented... Talented woman. Um, what else? I got to see Shine Down. Um, oh my God! How have I not mentioned them? They're one of my favorites. Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> Trashed and scattered again. <laughs> so silly right now <laughs> I think I talked about this but this is worth bringing up again so there was a t I love how I'm just jumping back and forth but you know what like I'm just vibing guys so thanks um anyway so <laughs> I love Avenge Sevenfold and um <laughs> Uh, my mom was trying to get me, get my attention to get downstairs. This is in the townhouse uh, in Miami. The one that, yeah. Um, and uh, why am I telling you guys all this shit? What the frick? <laughs> Giving you my life story, but not at the same time because I'm jumping from one thing to another. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> so what <wet>, um <laughs> Oh it's three three three. Oh <laughs> uh, hmm. it was um to get my attention. Like usually she blasts her la she would she would blast her Latin music and all that and all her Latin artists. Um but no she got my attention. She had got my Avenged Sevenfold CD and started blasting <laughs> the music. And I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> and I go downstairs and I'm like, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know you liked Avenged Sevenfold and she's there headbanging. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't with you, mom. I love you, but oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, my mom. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Me still trying to remember who else was at Global Gathering Rise Against I mentioned. And there was a reason why I even brought up Global Gathering. Uh, Lacuna Coil. That was amazing. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, what else? <laughs> Don't come to me. What was the point again? What was the point? <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> Trashed and scattered is just playing in my head. Like, no, 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 no. Ah. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Now, Disturbed was my first concert. Oh, that was amazing. It was Disturbed, Corn, Trust Company, Seether. Seether was there too. I got to see Disturbed, man. And Corn. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, but I was more excited about Disturbed. <laughs> Still love Disturbed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um,. Who else? <laughs> oh, man. Those mu music festivals are the, like, it's it's wild. I remember, yeah, I went to a concert with another friend um, that Jared Leto. Okay, listen. I wanted to, <sighs> you know, doing some crazy stunt, like climbing up the freaking, like, the freaking, what do they call it? But, like, he was just trying to get up to the toppy, tippy, toppy amphitheater whatever something it was it was outside <laughs> brain can't make words happen but yes i he would i was just like i you idiot get the, your mother wants you to get down <laughs> whoever your mother is get the fuck down <laughs> jared leto was just it was cool it was cool i love uh i got to uh, see 30 seconds to mars and um i got to see my chemical romance um who else? Who else did I see? <laughs> okay, so I got to see Trapped. Oh, I love, 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 love. Um, oh, yeah, hold on. Now I gotta get some lyrics because I feel like singing them. Contagious, Trapped. Oh my god, another train. I want the lyrics. I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, no. Oh, no, I don't think I'm going to get to do this with, with like this. No, mm -mm. I'll sound like a complete fool. Uh, good song, though. I like Trapped's old stuff is amazing. The new stuff, mm. <laughs> uh, mm, you know. Um, where's my water? Mm. Anyway. Oh, well. Okay. Hmm. Either way. Wow, I can't believe I'm still recording. <laughs> I don't want nobody else. Oh, now I don't, oh, okay. Now I don't know what to do with myself, do with myself. I don't want nobody else. I don't want nobody else. 
I let you in, I let you in, and you infected me. Can't get enough of you, can't get enough of you. I breathe you in, I breathe you in, and now I'm into deep. You don't think I'm pulling through, don't think I'm pulling through. Can't get enough of you, can't get enough of you. You're so contagious. <sighs> Running through my veins, you're so contagious. Hanging on to every word, you're so contagious. And I can't get away, you're so contagious. <sighs> And now I know for sure there is no cure. <laughs> hey, I got it. <laughs> Woo. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I would do the automatic writing again. Um, oh my gosh. Um, my lovely Amanda, you're so amazing. If you're listening... Love you so much. Thank you so much for just being so lovely and amazing. And I feel so bad that I don't reply to, to but, but, but you're amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I added that. <laughs> but you're amazing. Thank you. Because I resonate so much with, with your replies. And I was thinking of the question that you had asked, uh, like my process for automatic writing. Excuse me, automatic writing. Uh, I can discuss it a bit. I don't mind. Thank you for asking. Um, oh, man, I feel like a jukebox. All I want to do is sing. Uh, <laughs> mm, it's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. Gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. I was... Oh, right. Automatic writing. <laughs> well, like this. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous to do it like this, uh, uh, recording it anyway, um, <laughs> because it gets really intense. I have notebooks filled with how I, I get, whether it's uh, in a heightened state or, a, you know, regularly. I just have that because a lot of the, the shapes and stuff, I see messages throughout the years. And I know it sounds weird, but, you know things that resonate now it makes sense now rather but all I do is get a sheet of paper before I couldn't do this actually all this all my um I feel I've level up I le I've leveled up um this year a lot through my suffering <laughs> through my pain and through my um, metamorphosis that I'm still going through because um, I still feel like I'm in the mother effing cocoon. I don't think I've become a beautiful butterfly yet. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, oh, sorry guys. Ooh, yeah. So, um, I know this is sound weird. I don't know if some of you guys have gone through stuff like that in a heightened state. Um, so, um, while I'm like that and I feel like um, there's a part of me that feels like I'm going to float away completely and I don't trust that. So, I'm always in control in some way, shape, or form. And maybe I'm not meant to be, but it's a bit intense for me. So, I do like to stay in some control. Otherwise, I, no, <laughs> let's not, let's not. Um, hmm. I lost my train of thought. Great. <laughs> um, oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like to rub my skin or like, like put my, I actually do that regardless, like, uh, I know it's, I have lots of nervous tics cause who doesn't, but for me, when I feel like I'm losing control in some way, shape or form, whether it be emotionally or something, I realize, Oh, what the hell? Why am I giving you guys deets? No, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> no. 
um, um, whatever. It's, uh, it's my way of like, you know, I mean, we all have that, but like on a regular basis, I do that to kind of like bring me back down to earth. Right. Um, in a heightened state, I do that to bring me back down to earth, <laughs> but in a different way, I, I, I don't know how to make sense of it. It's like, I feel myself and I can like ground myself. It's like, okay, I'm grabbing, like I'm here, I'm physically here. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, automatic writing, piece of paper, <laughs> your choice of, of writing utensil and um, you can start off for those that like for me it just happens very quickly but um, hmm, let, me, let me get a paper actually oh I have so much here oh I'll use the back of this one Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> my, oh, mm -mm. no. Anyway, okay. Um, I'll close that up. Oh, Nanako, honey bunny. Okay. So yeah. Oh, let me take this part off. I'm probably gonna bump into the mic. Oh, no. So what I do is I just, I start with circles. I'm holding the pen. Again, when you, you have to, clearing your mind and just, oh, Nani. Nani. So you just, you know. Whatever shapes want to come through, swirls, eights, words, letters, numbers, things just like to come through. And some, and it's very hard. Some, oh, that is a profanity. That is not a word I have to say. <laughs> what the frick, man? <laughs> I feel something on my leg. Um, Nanako. Um... Oh man, and there I go with all the ink. Okay, so mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yep, this person's still here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, <laughs> I see you. Anyway, sorry if that sounds crazy. <laughs> I but yeah, you just start writing. Start writing or uh, drawing, whatever the heck. It just, um, I've seen many people do it in different ways, but and it's hard because, um, to um, in those moments of you know, you have to just trust what comes through, otherwise, you're just like, I'm just drawing gibberish, I can't believe this stuff. No, it's the same thing with like tea leaves and any other form of divination, really. You interpret it, and oh my gosh, someone's name is popping up a lot. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> ow. <laughs> ow! 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 That's right. I still have like this cut on my thigh. <laughs> It, that was a moment. That was that was a moment. I didn't even realize it was bleeding. And I'm just like, what what happened here? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. It's like, oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone wants to make their presence known. <laughs> well, well, well. Okay. Okay, enough, enough. I was just trying to explain <laughs> my process, but it really, it just, it's whatever. It's um, the same. Um, 
it's about trusting what you see and what you feel from it, right? Because um, a lot of people will just not trust <laughs> these kinds of things, second guess, really. And in those moments, well, <laughs> you see, you lose the opportunity to see beyond something. That's all. Why? Okay. Yeah. Hope that made sense. <laughs> Hope that made sense. So, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I just got an image of, okay, you know that part in, is it fi in Finding Nemo with the seagulls? Mine, 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 mine. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine. <laughs> so this message is ah, coming through for some reason. <laughs> mine. <laughs> oh, should I roll the dice? <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Ooh. What's this? Fourth house again. Saturn. Oh, Aries energy. So definitely picking up on some strong um, initiative of sorts to take, oh, someone, <laughs> okay, oh, I see, I see a lot, <laughs> you guys are like, what the frick, my girl clicks off, <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's that Scorpio again, but I'm also seeing fourth house. Fourth house is Cancer. I'm seeing, let's see what else I'm seeing. <laughs> oh. oh, interesting. Oh, okay. You know what? I sh <laughs> I'm being silly right now. I'm being silly, silly, silly. And I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, no, I did answer about the automatic writing thing. Um, what else? Anything else that... Oh, the reason why I brought up Global Gathering. <laughs> I brought up Global Gathering for a reason. Rise Against. Amazing. Love them. Oh, my God. It was so cool. I felt like I, like, listen, lead singer, Tim, Tim. You're amazing. Tim and I, if that's what it felt like, we locked eyes and it was amazing. And I was like, yes, I hope you feel my awesome energy. I give to you for being just as awesome. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> it was so cool. I don't remember what song they were performing, but I know they, they perform Swing Life Away as well. But that's the, the reason why I even brought up Global Gathering, Rise Against and all, because one of the other songs that um, if you hear the, the noises in the background is my doggy. She starts um, doing the, the hacking and I, yeah. Um, she's just like that. <laughs> um, and rise against, rise against. Um, swing life away. Great. Like, I love their music very much. I resonate um, with a lot of it. I... I remember the first time I listened to that. I don't want to get too into it because it's like emotional, but September's Children, I believe. Oh my God. I cried with the video because it's just something that I don't want anyone to hurt. I don't want anyone to hurt or, or end their trigger warning. <laughs> Disclaimer, trigger warning. I don't want anyone to end their lives. That's why I, I don't like talking about certain things of, of that because I feel very personal about it's very personal. No matter the age, it doesn't matter. And I sometimes I just say that to myself because I I feel like I haven't really lived life because of so many factors. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. 
Oh. Okay. Anyway. It just reminded me. Let me get the lyrics of that one. Rise against. Swing life away. Come on. Um... It's the part where it's like, it's, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it clears throat like 500 more times. I'll show you mine if you show me yours first. Let's compare scars. I'll tell you whose is worse. Let's unwrite these pages and replace them with our own words. We live on front porches and swing life away. We get by just fine here on minimum wage. If love is a labor, I'll slave till the end. I won't cross these streets until you hold my hand. Swing life away. Swing life away. Swing life away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've again, I've I've mentioned this before, but really, singing for me. Before my tarot cards was singing. Singing always helped me ground myself more so. Like I was able to connect with something higher than myself through song. I feel it's communication is so important in the way that, that we feel um, and how we express and how it can hurt someone or or make someone feel so good, you know, and I feel it's so important to remember to, to know how to communicate or try to with the best of heart. I feel that communication, I know that the logical being, I'm, being, I'm not, I'm being, a, ugh, I'm being a fool. <sighs> this year <laughs> I'm going to blame it on the year like everything no swing life away oh, swing life away <clears throat> sorry <laughs> It's a bit cold. For so long, the journey of truth to self, of self, truth to self, I can't even, words, words, words. The journey to understand ourselves, the journey to put ourselves first. What's that? Hmm. Oh, cold. <laughs> oh, you get under the covers. Maybe this is the this is my cue to end it. Um, I mean, I've just been playing with dice and talking gibberish and... Excuse me. <laughs> I just thought of something funny. <laughs> me trying to edit and then upload this in this state. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh.
This energy is very loud. Look at that. Water signs all around. And Virgo. <laughs> and Virgo. And then there's Leo. Pisces. Uh, uh, Scorpio. But that is Pluto, really. Um, a lot of Cancerian energy. A lot of it. Hmm. Warm machine. Warm machine. I want to look up those lyrics. Warm machine. I love Bush. Oh, I love Bush so much. Gavin Rosdale. Oh, man. I had such a cute, uh, cute, <laughs> cute. <laughs> that makes no sense. I had such a, he's, yeah, he's, <laughs> my, my teenager crush on the man continues, I guess, whatever. Um, <laughs> so silly. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Um, I don't remember. Bush is great, though. Uh, again, with the newer stuff, I really haven't been listening to the newer stuff. Gavin Rosdale. I remember I read somewhere where he said he's a like quadruple Scorpio. I'm like, bro, <laughs> that's intense as all hell. That's intense. I right, Bush. Um... Warm machine. You know, let's see if I can finish this sentence. Um, <laughs> bet. All right. Um, I remember back in uh, growing up, middle school, um, then high school, but middle school mostly because, um, I've always liked to sing. I've been singing since I was like, uh, like as. As young as five years old, I remember. Um, it was fun. It was amazing. Uh, right, singing. and um, Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> what was that? Um, I was actually very self-conscious. Uh, conch. Fuck. <laughs> I was very self-conscious of my voice because I can... I'm embarrassed to do it now. I can't. I'm embarrassed. But uh, I could... My voice can go really deep for, for a girl. And um, I would sing, like... I would love listening to male-fronted bands and then trying to mimic how they sing, not just, like, the tone, but other aspects. And I became very good at it. <laughs> but I also became very embarrassed. Um because a lot of people would make fun of me. They're like, your voice is too deep for to be a girl. Are you even a girl? And I'm like, okay, really? Are we, I'm joking around about it, but it, it really, so from a very young age, I've questioned certain things, <laughs> a lot of things. But um, again, I feel that if there's anything good that has come from this year, I have been embracing my, divine feminine energy so much more um last year too um half of last year was that has been a year and a half i've been embracing my divine feminine so much more and she is so appreciative of it i feel i feel like a woman oh. <laughs> i Oh my gosh, what am I doing talking about this? Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Um Yeah, I <laughs> I heard something else. Jesus. Okay, okay. But um Yeah, on a serious note, um Um damn, how do I even talk about that? I don't think this is the topic to talk about right now, but, um, yeah. Um, I never really embraced that part of me. I was either in my masculine energy or just try to be as neutral as possible to be invisible, to not be seen. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Nani. I mean, 
like I still feel that way like I when I don't I don't want to be seen, but at the same time, it's not that I don't. I want to be seen by the people that I want to see me, you know? Um, but I think that goes for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I was talking to a friend earlier. Oh, Nani. Um, I don't remember now. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. It's like I'm having like a freaking movie montage moment and everything inside my head. And then nothing comes out of my mouth. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm recording. Jesus Christ. But yeah. I'm embrace embracing that energy more this uh, recently, and uh, even though not entirely, I've always been more in my masculine energy. Um, regardless, that's not. I don't even know. I'm talking about this. My bladder. Not that you guys need to know. I want to end this soon. Like, not my bladder. <laughs> no, do not end the bladder. No. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I like this? <laughs> oh. Anyway. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Right, warm machine. Let's see. Lyrics, please. No, no, go. Okay, I don't know if I can... Oh, right, I was talking about my... Well, I, I kind of jumped from one thing to another, as I do usually. Um, But yeah. Uh, oh my god. I would... I loved... Um, I don't do much screaming because um, I don't want to mess up my vocal cords because I don't know how to do it. I'm not a professional, like, screamer or anything. Um, In terms of... Oh god. <laughs> In terms, in terms of uh, uh, singing, shit, blah. Okay. Uh, my brain. <clears throat> Unnecessary. Um. <laughs> Nanako? I don't know if she's like sleeping and just making noises in her sleep or not, so. All right. I'll end it with this. I, I can't. My brain is. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. I think I will. But I'm scared to listen to it. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I memorized the basics. Oh, um, making strange faces. Trade slowly for I know. There's a thousand miles to go. With all. Oh. Without blinking, I gravitate spacewards, find a home for the head from my basement. No darkness ever left. This is the night, this is the sound. Here comes the warm machine. Such a warm machine. Pretty warm. <laughs> Try to remember. Oh my gosh, Nanako wants to sing too, I guess, in her sleep. <laughs> I think that Gavin Rosdale. Amazing. Okay. I think I'm gonna I was gonna do a reading, but I can't. I think this is it's not gonna get worse than this, but I this is this is good like sleepy time feel right now this is a good sleepy time vibe <laughs> um this is a good sleepy time vibe nanako's like yeah you better i'm gonna keep on going rrr, 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 rrr. more like scoob 
Zoinks. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. What? I need to stop. I, I. I am a menace to society. This is not acceptable. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't drank water, so my mouth is really, really dry. Um. <laughs> I think that this is a good place to end it. I hope that if you guys listen to this monstrosity, you are awesome. And thank you for putting up with my shit. Um, so whenever it is I do post this, I'm going to give myself pats on the back if I get to like, if I edit this and post it as it is right now. I mean, not that like just post it oh my tummy i'm hungry no no it's not the time <laughs> i um hmm. all right <laughs> this is the, the this is <laughs> this is giving the no you hang up no 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 you hang up <laughs> i can't with this shit no <laughs> I am I can't with myself you know if anything I hope you guys got some great freaking laughs because I don't know I am so embarrassed <sighs> damn and I had some like revelations I wanted to share but it'll have to be another time all I will say is this don't give up on what you want Harm to none, harm to none, including yourself. No, no, if it's something that you can just keep going, keep trying, don't give up if it's something you really want, you know, like don't give up on that dream career, the love of a lifetime, the, the amount of, I don't know, just <laughs> don't give up. I mean, This is not a rehearsal. <laughs> we only get one life. So make it right. Oh, hmm. I wish I were more courageous. Huh. Anyway. One more rule. 